Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about my Z06. Yes, my Z06 was in a crash, and right now we are headed to uh, JP Auto in Collision to check out the car, uh, see how it's doing. But um, right now, the uh, Enterprise Rena Center gave me the brand new BMW X5. This car is beautiful, and I can't wait to show you guys a little bit more about it. You know, the more I drive this car, the more I think I definitely need to do a video on this car. This thing is sweet. It's got Bluetooth CarPlay. That's pretty sweet. Let's see. Oops. My phone's not even on it yet, but... This thing's pretty cool. So let's now head on to JP Euro and check out the car. I don't know if you guys like the way I'm, I'm filming this. I'm trying to, I guess, expand, uh, do some different filming and, you know, try different things. But um, the uh, to explain the crash, to explain what happened, this was a speed limit crash. We were leaving Legacy West in Plano, if you guys are familiar with that. And my friend, who's actually a subscriber, um, you know, he made a mistake. And, you know, was I upset? Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's a uh, pain. You know, thankfully, Enterprise and Haggerty have taken care of me in this situation, right? I'm in a 2023 BMW X5, and, you know, I'm okay. None of us were hurt. But <clears throat> he was in the far left lane, and I was in the far right lane. And he thought that the street we were approaching was the, the street he was supposed to turn on. And, you know, he was incorrect. He made a very, very fast move. And I braked as fast as I could, but obviously, you know, it wasn't fast enough. And unfortunately, his, uh, his car's got about $26,000 worth of damage, but mine is just under um, 13,000. So we are headed to JP right now to um, give him the check so he can start buying uh, parts, ordering the parts. They've actually already got the car completely apart, so I'm excited that you know they they get to, they got to work fast on the car. So um, you know, unfortunate process, but you know, life doesn't always deal you the right cards. You just got to know when to play and how to play. So um, we're headed there right now, and um, I'll show you guys a walk around of what the car looks like, and you guys can see these images um, until we get there. So. I'm excited to see the car, even though it's even though it's not looking good right now. I know JP does a good job, and I look forward to seeing the finished outcome. So, for those of you guys that have actually never been to JP Euro, I first want to say that there are two different shops. There's JP's shop, where basically everybody drops their car off to get looked at or inspected or worked on. Um, so, JP's first shop. Um, is actually where he does um, the initial inspection and looks over it and if there's actually any mechanical problems or anything that needs to be looked at or fixed he works on he works on that stuff there but if it's literally just pure body or collision it goes to his body and collision shop which is just a few miles away it might even be less than a few miles but um, my car was there and I muted the audio on this clip that you guys saw earlier just because I, I wasn't really for sure. I thought my car had just been sitting outside overnight. But they take cars out and then they put cars back in at night. So my car was perfectly safe. But um, I wanted you guys to see the damage initially from that. But for those of you guys that are wondering how much damage or you know what all are the big, big ticket items that are in uh, the damage for the car... Uh, I was going to go over that. So the, the total price for the damage as far as the, the initial estimate, and then we added the front right fender, obviously, was uh, $12,785. So I'm going to read um, some of the big parts here just so you guys can kind of understand um, how much is, you know, how much is actually the car being damaged versus labor and paint and things like that. So the uh, bumper cover and assembly is $902. The uh, grill assembly is $776. Um, the new, a new headlight is uh, $1,574. Um, 
The hood was $2,856. Um, the hinges were $203 a piece. Um, and then the front right fender, um, how much was that? The front right fender was $895. Um, and those look to be the big ticket items. Obviously labor, it looks to me like the body labor is gonna be $1,171, it's $62 an hour. Paint labor is about $682, uh, paint supplies $550, and then body supplies is about $373. So um, the parts is $7,831 plus the um, additional, uh, what was it, $895 for the fender. So, all in all, the total damage is around one thousand. I mean, twelve twelve thousand seven hundred eighty-five dollars. So, I miss my baby. I'm ready to get my car back, but they have ordered the parts, and they are OEM parts. They are coming from um, Detroit, I, but they are being ordered out of uh, reliable Chevrolet out of Richardson. So um, I hope to get my car back before the end of the year. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not really forcing JP to to kill it that fast but i would love to i'd love to get my car back pretty soon um, i've got some upcoming brunch runs and you know i'd like to drive my car again it's re it really sucks making a 731 and dollar payment and not getting to drive my car but that's not a big deal um so you know that that's pretty much it for the damage but um thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll catch you guys next time